you could call Custom Woolen Mills a working museum. As you walk through the door, it's as if you are transported back in time. Located east of Carstairs, this family-owned and operated business has been producing woolen products for over 25 years. This Farm Fresh story tells us how a fun-loving family purchased more wool than they could originally handle, acquired some 19th century machinery, and spun it into a successful enterprise. Hi, I'm Fed Rusing. I am the manager of Custom Woolen Mills, the matriarch of the Purvis Smith family, and we process wool from all over North America. We came here in about 75. This was a student of Bill's that owned this property, and we got 15 acres of it, basically. So we, we're on a 15-acre parcel, and we take care of our own sewage and water and everything here then. And we moved all the buildings here, or built them here. Fenn and her late husband, Bill, purchased the original Crossfield train station for $1. And after a 55-kilometer journey, it became their house and home. Then we have a mill building, and uh, you'll see behind me here we have a, a bulk um, wool because we buy wool locally then, and we bring in wool from all over North America that uh, we're processing. We have about a year's worth of wool, um, usually in our storage sheds. We have a bunch of storage sheds full of machine parts so that we can keep on going. All our machinery is from about 18, 75 to 1929, most of it, and so um, it's nice to have a lot of parts. <laughs> we can't just go out and buy another one. This mill started as a very small family business and has grown from 40,000 to 100,000 pounds a year of wool production. Producers near and far bring in raw wool to process. It's called raw wool because it's just been shorn off the sheep. The first step is to wash the wool. After we've washed and dried it, we can dye it still. So we have a dye tank there. And then we card it, which is a brushing process. So um, we brush it, uh, card it into about three or four different products that you can use just as a carded product. And then we make the iron. Our spinning mule is the only one left in Canada that's actually running as a production mule. After we've spun it, then we can knit it into socks. So we have a room for knitting socks. And then we uh, have a, a thing that plies yarn. And it's called a twister. We call it a twister. We have a sewing room uh, with a big uh, hand-built uh, uh, comforter sewing machine. And then we have a, a three knitting machine. Custom Woolen Mills has a full-time millwright, Gary Swanson. He's kept pretty busy keeping the vintage machines in working order. Well, he's built quite a few of the machines. And, he, um, and a lot of the machinery is, is old enough that if something breaks, quite often you have to figure out a different way to do the same thing. So if you, uh, if you have gears that, that you can no longer get, you have to figure out a different way to uh, to put the whole thing together again. So he does that quite often. And, um, it keeps him busy, and, and our you know machines wear, wear out, so you have to rebuild them. Or he's got a pretty full-time job doing that. The mill has about 12 full-time staff, including two of Fen's daughters, Laura Lee and Maddie. My name's Maddie, and I work here with my family at Custom Mill and Mills. I've been involved with this kind of business since I was born. I used to take naps in the mill when I was like four years old. And then uh, my siblings and I would work in the mill whenever there was like a snow day from school or anything like that. Then I went away, went to university, that kind of thing, and came back at Christmas time actually this year to help out with just wherever I can help in the mill. So managing, running machinery, anything like that. warm even when it's wet so it's it's just an it's just an amazing fiber it holds 30 percent of its moisture without even feeling damp so if you have a wool comforter you're just comfortable you're not it's not to do with warmth it's about comfort you can reuse it you can remake comforters over and over again it's just a fabulous fiber 
I'm biased because I grew up with wool. So I'd choose wool over any other fiber. Probably about 60% of our business is uh, custom processing. So people bring us their wool, we process it and ship it back to them and they'll sell it at the farmer's market, probably under like their own label, so their own farm label or something like that. And then the other 30 to 40% of our business is either wholesale yarn that we sell to yarn shops in Western Canada or the retail business that we do through our internet site or in the shop here. The products that we make here are yarns and quilts, mattress pads, pillows, sleeping bags, um, and basically all the products that you might need to make those things uh, yourself. And then we also knit socks in the mill. We also carry a lot of hand knit and hand felted garments that local knitters have made and brought to us to sell. When people ship us the wool, normally it has to sit in our shed for a few months because we have a bit of a backlog on orders. But once it's into the mill and we're washing it, it normally goes through the entire mill in about a week to two weeks. Using the old machinery has a lot of advantages in terms of just the scale that we're operating on. Um, it wouldn't be possible for us to run a bigger industrial mill and still provide people with their own wool. It seems like the family wants to keep on going, so that's kind of an interesting thought. I didn't, uh, I hadn't really contemplated that, so we're now on the, we're on now looking at the second generation and what we can do. We do a good job now, but we can always do better. I would like to see the business keep going, obviously, and um, to work with my sister Loralee to see what we can do in terms of kind of diversifying a little bit. Um, maybe getting into wool compost to compost any waste wool that we have and uh, do some more broad kind of landscaping stuff to incorporate it into a kind of more self-sustaining property. Custom Woolen Mills is a labor of love. Surrounded by a centuries old technology, this tight-knit group of family members, neighbors, and staff keep this mill in motion all year round. The wool business is thriving, but this mill will only take on what it can handle. Expanding is not something they hope to achieve. Instead, they want to continue to have the highest quality of production to honor the legacy of husband and father, Bill Purvis Smith.